Welcome back. In this lecture, we will explore how to create thumbnail navigation for our swiper.js slider. Thumbnail navigation allows users to easily navigate between slides by providing a preview of each slide in a smaller thumbnail format. Swiper.js provides a built-in feature called Thumbs that simplifies the process of creating thumbnail navigation. So let's dive into the implementation. First, let's set up the HTML structure for our slider and thumbnail navigation. So here, let me for now get rid of all of the HTML. We will start it from scratch. Okay. So let's add a div and this div will be modifying some CSS variables that will are being used in the swiper. So here I will add dash dash swiper navigation color. Okay, and swiper pagination color should also be white. Okay, now we need to nest some elements. First element would be the div with swiper dash wrapper. And also don't forget to add the class to the main div to the swiper and my swiper too. So this can be any class. So it does not matter. Now inside the swiper dash wrapper, I will add another div that will have the class swiper dash slide. Okay, within that I will add an image source is equal to. Okay, here I will add the path of the image. Okay, save it. Now I will copy paste it several times to duplicate it to have multiple images. So we will have total 10 images. You can have more than that as well if you want to. After the swiper wrapper div, we will add a div for swiper dash button dash next and similarly for the previous button then after this div i will create another div for the thumbs slider so i will add div swiper dot my swiper press enter okay within that let's type some more code div dot swiper dash wrapper enter and then we will have div dot swiper dash slide and within that i will add image so make sure the path is same or maybe you can use a different path maybe the image that is smaller in width and height because we want to show a smaller width image here or you can use the same url if it's totally up to you now i will copy paste it for the 10 times so make sure that uh, as we are making thumbnails so for that you have to create the same number of slides as you have created above in the main slider all right i have created 10 slides for the thumbnails as well now in this structure we have two separate swiper containers the first container is for the main slider and the second container is for the thumbnail navigation each container has its own swiper dash wrapper and swiper dash slide elements so this is what we can see right now okay after that let's add some styles i'm going to delete all of the styles and let's write from scratch html body position relative height 100 percent then we will add some styles to the body background should be margin zero pixels and padding should be zero pixels okay then we will style the swiper elements with the width of 100% and height of 100%. Okay. And next I will style the swiper dash slide image and also add display block width 100%, height 100%, and then object fit should be cover. Actually, let's change the background color to black. Okay. And also in the height, I will add 300 pixels instead of 100% my swiper 2 and the height would be 80 percent and the box sizing would be the border box border box and padding should be 10 pixels zero and now we will so style the my swiper dot swiper dash slide and every slide would be width of 25 percent height of 100 percent and opacity should be 0 0.4 0 0.4 and now i will add the opacity for the active thumbnail my 
swiper dot swiper opacity one all right also let me add my swiper and here i would like to specify the height of 20 percent and i don't think that we will need this these two lines so i will remove that as well and for the swiper 2 the width is already 100 percent now you can see that this is what we have there is no scroll and it is looking great so next let's initialize the swiper.js instances for both the main slider and the thumbnail navigation so for that i will add script tag and now i will define variable swiper is equal to new swiper my swiper and an object and space between should be 10 slides per view should be 4 and free mode should be true and watch slides progress should be true all right after that i will create an instance for the next swiper is equal to new swiper this so this is the basic swiper but there is an additional property that i will add would be thumbs and within that object i will pass the swiper that we want to consider as the thumbnail so let me explain quickly here so this in this code we first initialize the main slider with the necessary options such as pagination and navigation then we initialize the thumbnail navigation slider with its own properties with its own options like space between slides per view and free mode the key step is linking the main slider and the thumbnail navigation using the thumbs option we assign the thumbnail navigation slider instance to the thumbs dot swiper property of the main slider instance by doing this swiper.js will automatically synchronize the main slider and thumbnail navigation when you click on the thumbnail the main slider will transition to the corresponding slide and vice versa okay before testing it make sure to save this and the styles as well and now let's reload it click on the next arrow you can see that it is working very well so there is something wrong with this image that's why it is black so let's see what is wrong with that so it is a second lost image so maybe this is not available so i think uh, this image is not available so i will just replace it with the existing one so you can use your own images okay i have replaced uh, the ninth image in both sliders now you will see that i am scrolling and when i click on the next one it highlights the active slide in the thumbnail and dim the other thumbnails and if you go to the next one it slides the slide it shows the next available four thumbnails and it will keep activating the current one and so on you can further customize the appearance and behavior of the thumbnail navigation by adjusting the options for thumbnail slider for example you can change the number of visible thumbnails like from here instead of four you can set it to five six or whatever you prefer or you can also add spacing between thumbnails using the space between so right now we have added the 10 you can increase it to 100 there's a space of 100 pixel between every thumbnail uh, you can add the space in this swiper as well like 100 pixel here as well this is too much i'm just showing you the example anyways so let's revert it back okay so this is what we have so far the swipe gestures are also working perfect remember to test your slider with thumbnail navigation on various devices and screen sizes to ensure it functions as expected and provides a smooth user experience in the next lecture we will explore how to enable touch and mouse interactions for our swiper.js slider allowing users to swipe or click to navigate between slides if you have any questions or want to share your own implementations of thumbnail navigation in swiper.js feel free to leave a comment below and let's make our sliders more user friendly and engaging